What's up, bloggers? Welcome to the garage. Today, we are working on Captain Anna's brand new Kawasaki Ninja 300. In the garage, we also have Aaron, Sleazy. That is my name. <laughs> and Wes, Face Nectar. Instagram's all right there. Go follow him if you want to follow him. Link's also down in the description below. So, Captain Anna, what are we going to be doing to your Ninja 300 today? Today we will be doing some chain maintenance. We're going to be changing out the oil and changing out the coolant. Cool. So we got everything over here. So we got oil, we got coolant, we got filter, and where'd the chain lube went? Somewhere around here. You were doing, doing the thing with your... What? Oh yeah, the... Gotta shake it up, break up all that wax. So we got the chain lube, we got the chain brush, and then we're gonna tension it. Then go ride it, cause she got it all registered up. Intro, and let's get to it. All right, so step one, intentioning the chain. Oh, you're gonna remove this, uh, what is it, cotter pin, club spin. So we basically bend it out, and then you're going to pull it through the axle. Uh, so there's your tools. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let Captain Anna do most of the work here. Whack, whack, whack. Dang, this thing is, is still here, man. Really? Damn, it's like it's never been taken out. Goodness gracious. When you gotta use a ball peen hammer on a freaking thing. <laughs> so we don't need to take it out entirely, it just okay. needs to be loose. This feels pretty loose. Yeah, yep, that's good. Alright. Alright, so now we need to loosen these. Well, this is actually what we're gonna use to tension it. So these are loose now. Mm -hmm. These are your chain tensioners. So you back it off and you press it forward, it adds slack to the chain. You back it or you like you tighten it it basically pulls the axle back mm -hmm. and so that's what we want to do we want about a what is it like an inch and a half of slack we got hella slack right now all right so chain tensioning you're gonna want to kind of evenly do it so i do like you know okay. three or four here three or four there and then kind of pay attention to see how many marks it goes back so on this you've got a little mark there yeah. and then the lines here so you can kind of see how far you're moving and then as you're doing it you know you just you're going to be able to feel the slack come out of it. See, look at that. All ready. It's actually probably good. Um, should they be even? Yeah. Okay, so this one needs a little more. That one's just about a little bit. Whew. It might be too tight. <laughs> what does it say? 0.8 to, oh yeah, that's like not even a half. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, okay, we'll loosen it in like a, maybe a quarter. Okay. It's gonna tighten up too when you sit on it. Okay. That's probably good there. It's definitely better, that's for sure. Oh yeah, night and day. Push all that mail and shit over. Right here, see that. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. <laughs> So we can pretty much move on to the next part, which is cleaning the chain. So now we've got it tensioned properly, and now we will clean it. So we've got um, this uh, clean up chain cleaner from West Depot. Yeah. Yeah. And with cleaning the chain, it is a little bit of a mess, but that's why we've got this piece laid down here. So you're just gonna spray the cleaner on while rotating the tire and just scrub the chain, getting all the grossness off of it. Yeah, let me see this. Muscle turn, I'll spray, you scrub. Three person job. <laughs> What's it remind you of? This right here. Gotta use both hands. Mm hmm. Alright, I'm gonna turn the brush. Yeah, really good. Top side. All that good stuff. So you see how it's really breaking up all that grease and grossness? That's delicious. Mm-hmm. She tried it in your, on your tongue. Oh, that would suck <laughs> if I did it. 
<laughs> you did brand me. So. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of trust there, man. A lot of trust. <laughs> it's just like lifting up all the grossness. And then if you want to like hold it against here too to get it kind of off of the sprocket. And then like in here against the teeth as well. All right, so we got it clean. So the next part is throwing some uh, chain lube on there. On note of the stuff that we're using, if you guys are interested in any of this, check out the links down in the description below. We'll drop links to uh, the chain cleaner, the chain lube, the, uh, the brush, the t-shirt. Um, is your West Depot site gonna be up yet anytime? Um, so, or no. should we just I, link? I gotta find this whole web developer. Like Mm. We'll, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just uh, link to Amazon for now until West Depot's up and running. <laughs> With this, yeah, you pretty much just want to apply like a, a, well, not a light coat, but not not too heavy either. If you go too heavy, it's going to be dripping all over the place. And then after we do apply this, you have to let it set for a bit just to kind of let it uh, set since it is like a wax. One of us will spin as the other person applies. All right, making our way down here. Making our way down here, walking fast. Draining oil, blah, blah. Um, got the bolt for the oil pan, um, which has been loosened, so you can pretty much just take it out. Okay. Probably, yep, with your fingers at this point. But before you do that, you want something to be under there to catch the oil. So whenever you're using an oil pan, you wanna make sure yeah. that you've got the part with the oil to go in open and this part open, otherwise it'll create a vacuum and it'll just fill up the actual pan part. All right, so before changing the oil, guys, uh, you do wanna start the bike up and let it run for a little bit just so it warms it up so that the oil flows more smoothly. But uh, the battery died. <laughs> so we've got this jumper, and so we're gonna take the seat off, hook it to the battery, and jump the bike to let it run to change the oil. So I got this thing the other day for some of the bikes in storage. Uh, Noco Boost Plus, link down in the description below, but it's supposed to uh, be able to jump bikes, which is pretty cool. Oh, that sounds a lot better. Hello? Hey! Good job, thing. Damn. That was quick. Right? All right, so now go ahead and uh, unthread that. I'll go ahead and take this off too. Well, yeah, leave it on there oh, until we open spider. it. Oh, Damn it. <laughs> yeah, oil didn't look that bad. I mean, it's not. It's warm. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's... right? Yeah, it didn't need to do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in. <laughs> Control Z. Let's go ahead and replace the uh, oil pan drain plug. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a torque spec for that, but that is definitely one you do not want to over tighten and strip because it does go into aluminum. And if you strip that, just made a hell of a job for yourself. <laughs> All right, so that's back on. So after that, uh, we'd want to remove the oil filter, which is right there to uh, finish the oil part of the job. Not 13 though. Ew, is what I would say if that oil was gross, but that looks like new oil. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. It's like it only has a thousand miles on it or something. For real, it's like <laughs> really clean oil. Well, we're gonna need to prime the filter. So there you go. Okay. All right, and then you wanna take some of that and put it on the ring. On the gasket. The gasket. Yep. <laughs> All right. And then, I'm gonna wipe this one down, and then, uh, yeah, you basically throw it on this one, hand tight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oil filter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the beat stop drop. I got nothing. I got no more range. <laughs> I timed it out badly. Cool. All right. So, cap back on. So you've got cap on, drain plug on, yeah. snug, yeah. Filter, filter, primed, snug. So uh, now we want to start it up, let it run for a little bit, 
and see where this oil level kind of evens out to. And uh, based on where that is, we'll either want to add a little more. We're not taking any away, obviously. Oh. Battery. All right, we got the bike started up again. We had to jump it again. Um, letting it run for a bit. And whenever we stop, turn it off, we'll uh, see where the oil level's at. These guys have uh, been working on this front fairing, so we're basically getting to the uh, reservoir for the coolant. Holy shit, look how low that is, man. It's like right at the, the low mark, yeah. yeah. Are you loving working on a metric bike? Isn't it awesome? How much more difficult is it than working on a Harley? Be honest, like, it's a I lot. Mean, <laughs> there's a lot to take apart. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, it's awesome for like wind resistance and all that stuff, but like working on them is, I mean, you don't have everything just like kind of out in the open, yeah, you know, like that. Yeah, having to that. take apart all the fairings and like figure that out. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. looking at the Harley there, everything's just open. And so it's much easier to work on, but too, yeah. it's a totally different style of bike though, so. Yeah, welcome to the um, having to work around fairings club. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> all right, so with the fairing removed, We've got a little bit of coolant dried up, built up here. So that's something to keep an eye on. Just tighten these down maybe. All right, so that's pretty low. So we're gonna go ahead and add more. She's got a fit. It's like 2.3 normal, 2.5 dry. Yeah. yeah, basically to the point, oil is done. Uh, doing the coolant now, since we've got the fairing off, we have access to the reservoir. Um, so, to drain the coolant, it's going to be this bolt right here. So to catch the coolant, we've got this party bowl that you could put chips in or coolant. So, uh, Aaron, you wanna go ahead and take the cap off of the other side. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Go get another memory card here. <laughs> what are you doing? Remember my first lefty goose. Yeah, do you? <laughs> There's your cat. <laughs> That's wrong. Drain one. it. That's the wrong one, dog. What? <laughs> oh my god. Is it really? Is it? No, they are both. They both gotta come off, right? <laughs> That's the radiator cap. And then the reservoir cap is the other one. Yeah, you wanna check out the reservoir cap. Well, they both need to come off, right? I mean, we could have done just a reservoir, but I guess the other one's fine too. <laughs> Better be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna loosen this bolt to drain the fluid. Yep. <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Do we need to come out all the way? Yep. Unless you want to wait for it. Nope. Like that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it won't shoot out. It definitely won't shoot out. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good thing I was holding the bowl. Holding the bowl. This is getting kind of heavy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to replace the bolts. Now, into there. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and fill radiator side with engine ice and then we're going to fill the reservoir run the bike for a little bit this should dip down and then we'll just basically fill it to full again cool and then we'll replace the cap <clears throat> and start it run the coolant through the system wait for the uh fans to kick on All right, so we ran the bike for a little bit. Fans didn't kick on, so we're gonna go run the bike, you know, in the real world. And uh, I'm sure fans will kick on at some point. In which case, we will check level of the coolant. Um, so yeah, if you guys end up doing that, obviously, whenever the fans do kick on, it's gonna fill in whatever air gaps and stuff are in there. And then uh, wherever it picks that down to, just make sure it's like halfway or too full. Well, if you guys do have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. Uh, I'm not saying that we'll know the answers, but, um, you know, consult your manual. Um, Who's Manuel? Took it from me <laughs> before y'all could even say it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is how you, uh, I don't know, do initial maintenance on a Kawasaki Ninja 300. 
Captain Anna, what were your overall thoughts, impressions of going through that uh, just kind of light maintenance? Um, not bad. I mean, it's a little tedious because of the fairings, you know, and having to remove all of those and remember where all the <laughs> bolts and screws go. Oh, yeah. Um, but as, you know, an absolute beginner with sport bikes, this is my very first sport bike never worked on one before um you know obviously i had really good guidance but i think you know with good guidance it's totally doable not not super hard at all yeah and that guidance is youtube videos for those of you that don't have somebody to like help you work in the garage just follow along exactly. with the video exactly makes it super easy just follow along with us on this wonderful video today I mean, obviously, if you guys buy any new bike, highly recommend doing those couple of things. Unless, like, they provided, you know, recent service records. We could have skipped the oil. The oil was really good condition. Yeah. But we didn't really know how long it was setting. So it's just, it's a peace of mind thing, you know. So now you know that that's all done. You're good for the next three to 5,000 miles or whatever. Yeah. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button. Be sure to give uh, Captain Anna a follow. Screen name right there. Also, be sure to give Aaron a follow and Wes and uh, if you guys have any questions post them up down in the comments below if you guys are interested in any of the parts check out the links and all that down in the description below as well be sure to link to uh, the cleaners and the oils and the coolants and pretty much anything and everything that we use today uh, anything you want to throw in there to finish her off hope you enjoy my new sport bike appearing on my Instagram <laughs> yeah yeah we're going to continue to have multiple videos uh, featuring Captain Anna with her Ninja 300. Yeah, so we're going to have, a, I don't know, kind of like a series, you know, with uh, following along with Captain Anna and her, her new bike. So for those of you out there that are interested in, in the bike, um, you know, and like might have one out there that you're doing maintenance and whatever too. Uh, yeah, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be uh, kept in the loop of whenever we post up new videos. Hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications for future uploads and activity. And until next time, ride safe, wrench safe, stay vigilant. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy.